Hello and welcome to a new video. This video is an update to my old world buff guide how to get and boon them for your next raid to adjust it for phase 2 of World of Warcraft Season of Discovery. It will show you all world buffs you can get in phase 2 of Season of Discovery. Right now you can get 3 different world buffs for different levels and one unboonable buff from the Ashenvale PvP event. The first buff is the boon of Black Fathom, which you can get by turning in a quest item from the final boss from BFD. It increases your hit chance of spells by 3%, your critical chance of melee and ranged attacks by 2%, it also grants 20 attack power, 25 spell damage and increases your movement speed by 20%. The buff lasts 120 minutes. You can only obtain this buff up to level 39. At level 40 and higher in the future, you are not able to obtain this buff anymore. You get it by being in Danassus or Mulgor while someone turns in the quest. The second and new buff is the Spark of Inspiration. You can get it by turning in again a quest from the final boss of Numerican. To obtain the buff, just stay in Ironforge while someone turns the quest in. It increases your critical strike chance of spells by 4%, your spell damage and healing by 42 and your melee and ranged attack speed by 10%. The third buff you can get is from Darkmoon Fairy. It will switch between Elven Forest for Alliance and Mulgor for Horde. The Darkmoon Fairy is active for 6 days, disappears for about 8 days and reappears again at the opposite faction site. Here you can get either Sage's Dark Fortune of Damage for DPS, which increases damage by 10%, or a Stamina, Armor or Resistance version for Tanks or Intelligence or Spirit for Healers. Each one increases your stats by 10%. All necessary answers for the different buffs are shown here. If you got your buff, you just use a Chrono Boon Displacer to stock them by right clicking on the item. You can buy this at every regent vendor in the game for about 20 silver. One bonus buff is the Ashen Whale Rallying Cry, which increases all damage and healing done by 5%. You can obtain this buff only once a week by participating in the Ashen Whale PvP event. Just participate at a kill of a guard or a boss to loot the Warsong Outrider Mark as Alliance or Silverwing Sentinel Charm for Horde. Make sure you don't have the buff active or the buff item in your inventory, otherwise it won't drop. You can turn this quest item in at Estranar for Alliance or Splinter Tree Post for Horde. For turning in, you receive the Silverwing Battle Hymn or the Horde alternative for it. You can only obtain this buff up to level 39 and it's not possible to boon it. Thanks for watching, enjoy raiding and consider to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content.